Yo, what's going on, guys? We're back. And looks like I've been invited to participate participate in the Rising Star game for All-Star Weekend. I don't know if that's this weekend or what. I guess we're going to see here in a minute. Uh, but all I can say is, cool story, bro. Of course I should be in that. I'm like top, top three or something. Man. Let's get this thing rolling. Good evening and welcome to tonight's broadcast of the NBA's Rising Stars Challenge. Always a great chance to see some. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. First for the Stars. You out there with Oladipo. And it's Valanciunas in at the center, locking down the middle. Then it's Porter. And it's Bennett in at the four slot. And for the elites, Carter Williams is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Sullinger in at the five. Oh, he's not a rookie. Then there's Michael Kidd Gilchrist, and it's Zeller in at the four spot. Well, I guess you'd call this weekend maybe the greatest pickup game on earth. <laughs> does that make sense, Clark? It sure does, and I agree with you. I mean, there's no doubt it tops the list, partner. You know, guys, this Rising Stars Challenge, in my mind, is a really good is. opportunity for young players to make a statement and separate themselves from their peers a little bit. To that recognition aspect, Clark, a very good one. I think the very fact that these players have been invited to play out of a group of what? Hundred is, is praising itself. No question about it. Yeah, if you're in your first or second season, I mean, this is where you want to be. There's a lot of prestige that comes with being named to play in this game. And obviously the next step beyond this is the All-Star game. This game's going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to see Come in a on. blowout, Kevin, or even an exhibition game, not a close game like this. And you know, frustrated Steve is over there well, I just, his head. Uh, you know what, oh, Kevin? Disgusting. Come on, Kevin. I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up there. I mean, he threw it down with force. How many know how the selection process works for the rosters of these teams? It is actually the assistant coaches from around the league who do the voting to decide who represents the rookies and the sophomores. Out to the right wing. Oladipo, the pass to Porter. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. No defense being played at all right now. Yeah, you know it'll be a high-scoring game, but at least make them work for it a little bit. And just to add to the selection process, Clark, you just talked about with the assistants making the move. You know, it just makes sense, Steve, don't you think, to have the assistant coaches get their say in this roster? They study the game as closely as anyone. Well, Kevin, to use a, kind of a Clark Kellogg-type analogy, <laughs> I mean, if you're going to do the cooking, I mean, don't you want to be able to buy the groceries? <laughs> Q passes to Porter. Offline with his three. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. Scott Brooks gave me a few minutes to share with him. We talked about his roster of players for the Rising Stars Challenge, and he said, I look at this group, and top to bottom, this could be the players who are the faces of the NBA in a few years. Everyone here just oozes talent and will be dominating the league in a short time. He just might be right, guys. Thanks again, Doris. And you know, this Rising Stars Challenge, really one of my favorite events, but I think it has potential to be even better if the teams would be committed to playing more like a regular game. I understand the entertainment value. That's important. But let's be a little more committed to playing the way they typically play. And I think that would add great value because you have such tremendous talent out there, hungry, talented, impressive players. Very well said, Clark. Very well said. And once more, he gets it. Another bucket from Q. Q's got his second bucket of the game to go. He leads trail by seven. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Lillard gets the screen from Zeller. And he hits the triple. Three points there on the shot from Lillard. Lillard's got a second bucket tonight. And the Rising Stars Challenge, really a great way for the league and theory to introduce fans to some of the great talent Steve coming into the NBA. Yeah, I mean, these guys may not be household names just yet, uh, but this is a part of the process. You know, playing in this game uh, is an honor. And for these young guys to get the chance to showcase their talents here at All-Star Weekend and just get a taste of what's out there for them if they can really improve and make it to the big show. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. The elite shooting there eventually.
We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Carter Williams with it. He dishes it to Sullinger. Not too surprising to have uh, so few fouls here. Yeah, you know what? I think part of it is the officiating, Steve. They get a little more leeway from the officials to the players, but some credit has to go to the players as well. I mean, no need to be overly aggressive in this kind of game format. Lillard with the block. Shot by Zeller, no good. The Stars trail by six. Q covered by Carter Williams. No good from Q. And they force the miss with that good defensive rotation. They're playing well together as a unit. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Elites. Now they didn't waste any time getting into a groove out there. They're dialed in from long range. Something else they've been able to do so far tonight is earn those tough points in the paint. Well, this is what you have to do when you're trailing. You've got to attack, be aggressive, and get to that foul line. And perhaps cause some foul trouble along the way. I mean, that can have a big impact down the road. Lillard attacking. Some solid defense from Oladipo. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. There's the triple. And out of bounds as the elites gain possession. Still elite ball. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Lillard left side, rebounded by Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Right wing, and Oladipo kicks to Bennett, and he banks in the layup. Bennett's got his third basket of the night right there. Kevin, you look at his play throughout the first half of the season. He's really gotten the attention of some folks. Yeah, and making believers out of the skeptics. I mean, his development has really been fun to watch. And it's Kid Gilchrist penetrating. Sullinger takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. You know, for a young player, he's already made an impact during the regular season. That's what you want uh, as a young player. A chance to play big minutes, contribute, and learn through experience. Offensive rebound. That one's good, and the elite lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from Valanciunas. Well, he's so dangerous on the offensive glass. You know, well, Clark, what, what's your expression for it? A glass eater? That's right. You got it, Steve. A go-and-get-it specialist is another way to look at him. He follows every shot, never assumes it's going in. Sullinger with the ball. Now Valanciunas defending, and Sullinger kicks to Beal. And the shot is long. Ill advised shot selection right there, Clark. It really was. I mean, very low percentage shot there. Hugh passes to Burke. 137 left now here in the second. The score now all even. And it's eight points for Q. You know, he's a guy who hasn't gotten as much playing time as he'd like during the regular season. Yeah, still paying his dues, so it's got to be fun for him to come into a game like this. Lillard dishes to Beal. Sullinger with a screen for Beal. Lillard from outside. Another miss by the Elites. I don't know if it's just me, but he's looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. His shooting has really suffered. And there's the feed to Burke. The dish to Porter. Passes it to Burke. Lock at six. Launches it. The Elites with the rebound. Lillard outside. Kicks it to Zeller. Back to Lillard. Dishes to Barnes. Spearies it from three-point range. Barnes has got eight points. Oh, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Q. Lillard with the block. Well, he hasn't had much success shooting the ball, but it's not too late for him to get it turned around and start contributing. And stolen by Bennett. And uh, Porter pushing it up. No one. Oh, oh, look out, man. A rim is shaking. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity. Yeah. Game itself 
starts to get a little more tight and close. And that was Kia bringing you the close-up on the big-time play. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. Elites lead by one. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. And now, brought to you Make it happen. Sprint. And welcome, everyone, to the All-Star Break edition of our halftime report of the Rising Stars Challenge. It's been the elites scrapping it out. Their second unit giving them instant offense. They've gone to their bench for scoring, and they've answered the call. Some great work out there by Damian Lillard. At the break, seven points, and he's made some key plays in the assist department, too. The Sprint half No shine. Presented by Sprint. Well, I see how it is. It's time for me to step in my ship. Look at those little hearts. Welcome back, everyone, to the Rising Stars Challenge. Uh, okay. Where the NBA's no problem, youngest, sure. brightest stars take the stage. And for a lot of these young guys, their first taste of All-Star Weekend. Yeah, nice way to get their feet wet and, and motivate them to make it to the big event. And the call is going to be, yes, yes, it is, an illegal screen. Well, an illegal screen is one of the toughest calls for the official to make. You know, I agree with you. You've got to have some sympathy for the referees when they have to make calls like that, but they get paid well, and they're the best in the business, so they can handle it. They now take the lead. Alan Junis has got the first basket of the second half here for the Stars. The elites trailing. Lillard with it, now guarded by Oladipo. And Kid Gilchrist kicks to Carter Williams. Out to the right wing. Pass to Kid Gilchrist, feeds to Carter Williams. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. Carter Williams has got his first two points of the night. Q, offered by Carter Williams. Now the pass to Q, to the right side. Here's Bennett. Seven points in the game. He kicks it to Valanciunas. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Some good play from Valanciunas in this one. He's got ten points. And he's done his job at the charity strike. He's gotten four of his points from there. And that's a good place to get them. You know, they don't come easier than that. But you've got to get yourself there first. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw shooters among the league's big men. Beautiful stroke. Lillard outside. And Lillard gets double teamed. Pass to Zeller. He feeds it to Sullinger. Carter Williams makes it off the glass. Carter Williams has got four points this quarter. Guys, close one here. No team getting a huge advantage. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, there have already been five lead changes, but nobody taking control of them. Great matchup. I mean, these two teams really, really match up well talent-wise. I'm enjoying this. Lillard attacking. No good. Nice D from Oladipo. The Stars with the lead. Q passes to Oladipo. He dishes it to Bennett. Now the feed to Oladipo. Here's Valanciunas. Plenty of room around him, and it's good. Valanciunas has got 14 points for the game. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Thank you. Thank you. Shot from 16. Nice touch on the bank shot. And now, just a two-point elite lead. Boy, the deeper we get into this game, the more offense we're seeing. And that goes for both teams, Steve. Everybody firing on all cylinders right now. Another miss by the elites. He's tried to get it going, but the shots just have not dropped for him today. To tie it up. The elites pull it in. Zeller's got his third rebound tonight. Kid Gilchrist dishes to Sullinger. Three-pointer Lillard, and he gets it to go. Lillard's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the elites. Yeah, something that, that makes him hard to defend is his ability to receive a pass and get off an accurate shot in one quick, fluid motion. So you better beware of where he is on the floor at all times. One of the premier catch-and-shoot guys in the league, Steve. There's no question about it. Here's Sollinger. No luck, they battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. The Stars trail by three. Passes it to Q. Shoots a three. 
And he gets the bucket. This guy will really make you pay if you leave him enough room outside. Here's Lillard. There's the dish to Zeller. Now Carter Williams. Carter Williams off the pick from Zeller. Carter Williams kicks to Zeller. Here's Porter. Gets the go-ahead bucket. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Stars. Boy, their hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end, very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And I'll tell you, the other thing that's been a factor is the transition game. They're scoring a lot of points on the fast break. The Elite's making a switch here. Everly's checked in. Shot to stop the run. Rebound by Oladipo. Beverly's gone one of three from the field here. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Yes, Kevin, during that break, Coach Scott Brooks had some words for his team. He told the team he can live with giving up three-point shots, but that they cannot give up any more easy looks inside. He made that crystal clear. So Coach waiting until the final stages to pull a few tricks out of his team. He's made a wise decision. Thanks again, Doris. Beverly's gone two of four from the field. Hugh, he's guarded by Beverly. No good. Some solid defensive work there from Sullinger. Kicks it to Lillard. Dishes it to Beverly. Here's Sollinger, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two in the second effort. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. Feeds to Valanciunas, and the pass to Bennett. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth. Porter, it's good! Oh, what a clutch shot. That could be the difference maker. Big, big moment in this game. Absolutely critical chance right here. Yeah, they need this one to go their way, Kevin. And I'll tell you what, they are dialed in to three-point land here in the fourth quarter. You called that one right. Causing some serious harm from long range. Here's Q. Sullinger with the rebound. Boy, that was a tough one because if that goes down, you tie the score. And you know they wanted to go down. They put together a nice run. That would have tied it. What, just yeah, a brain really? crack, guys? I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. 23 seconds left in the game. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Damian Lillard. Nine seconds left to play in the final quarter. Ooh, offline. And the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs. Yeah, I like that. A foul to save the layup. Make him earn it at the line. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Incredible composure at the line to tie it up and give them a chance to get it to overtime. That will count. Oh, it's no good. And we're headed to overtime. Time expires. This is a hell of a game. Let me in, Coach. And welcome back to the Rising Stars Challenge to showcase them. So it's the elites taking the W in a close one. It's always fun to see these younger guys competing. Lose? Really? I don't know when the stars are the goddamn elites. Unfortunately, one has to come up short, so. I guess we'll see. I'm playing on easy because I'm super noob. How did we do? What did we get? Face the brand? Face of the brand? Uh, it's, I don't want champ sports, so I want Nike, bitches. Damn it. Great game tonight. How does it feel to come out here as a young player on such a big stage and really showcase your skills? It was a real honor. I was happy to get the invite. 
And playing in this game with all the other young stars in this league means a lot to me. I was feeling good during was warm ups. Real and I'm good. glad it carried over into the game, man. Hopefully, this is only the beginning, and you'll be seeing more of me at All Star Weekends in the future, but you never know, really. This may be my only opportunity for something like this. So, I've been trying to enjoy every minute of it as much as I possibly can. Up. All right, well, I don't know what to say other than I did okay, I thought, and, uh, and that's all I have to say. <laughs> we'll catch you guys next episode. Thanks for watching. Peace.